All right, YouTube, it is May 1st. Well, it's time to do another quick project. So one of the things that's been bugging me is opening and closing the hood on my Bronco. Oh, it takes too much time using this old style stick. So today we're gonna fix that and let me show you what I got. All right, so I did a couple searches online and I came up with this solution with uh, Redline Tuning. There's a couple other products out there and I really didn't want to get into adjusting the hood and taking off the hood to set the alignment of the shocks. This one is so fast and you know it's even in the name. So Redline makes this. It's part number 211103. It's for the 21 to 22 Ford Bronco. It's called a quick lift. So they give you these shocks. These are black powder coated. You can also spend $20 extra and get the carbon fiber, or they also come in chrome. I'm gonna stick with the black powder coated. Um, it wasn't based on price. It was just on everything else underneath the hood uh, is basically black. So I just wanted to keep everything looking kind of like stock, like you would find on that kind of stuff. So in the kit, you're going to see that they have two of these little clips. This is what goes on the top of the hood. Um, this clip here goes on the truck itself. And I'll show you where this stuff goes. So there's two of these and they're marked really well from Redline. So Redline, 36. So the 36 is going to be the driver side of the car. And it only requires basically two tools. You're going to need a 13 um, millimeter socket. And then I found that these right angle uh, pliers actually really do a great job at taking off one of the connectors, um, just because I can't get my hands back there and needle nose pliers that are straight don't cut it. So let's get started. Um, I read the directions. One of the things that they pointed out, because this is going to be a quick process, is the orientation of the gas strut. This part goes up. So you want the, the larger diameter towards the top of the hood, if that makes sense. And then again, reading the directions always helps because you don't just slam these onto the, these little balls here. So you kind of wiggle it on. Otherwise you're gonna break the little C-clips that are on the struts themselves. And I know that that's an issue because they reference it on the other side, these part numbers. So. They do have those parts available in case this matters. And, you know, when someone on instructions puts note, carefully rock the gas spring socket over the ball stud with light pressure from the backside. So, you know right there that other people have done this and this was something that they fixed and they had to, you know, put in their instructions. So, um, don't just slap them on. Just kind of wiggle them on, if you will. And let me get started. Okay, so right now you're on the driver's side of the hood. Um, this clip back here, you just take your right angle and you just pop those things out. And you can just move them to the side. Next, you're gonna find this 13 millimeter um, right there. Make sure you don't drop that because it'll hit the ground hopefully um and it's not a critical item if you lose it but you really don't want to so they give you these parts again this is number 36 number 35 goes on the passenger side so imagine taking that piece out unscrew it and just set this one in place so let me get busy with that. Make sure I got my setup here. Slide that on. And 
And the instructions ask you for a deep well socket. This one's not deep. And the difference is um, minor. You really can do this with a shorter socket. Um, a deep one might actually clear this post right here a little easier, but that's fine. This is always the boring part in the video where we always fast forward. And as you're taking these things off, you, you gotta note how much force was required to remove it. Because when you tighten them back on, you wanna give the same amount of force. So that way you don't over tighten or leave it loose. Because you gotta remember it's gonna serve a new purpose. Um, should work. All right, we got that loose enough. The pain at the top of these things are kind of slippery. They're loose, but can't get a good grip on it. I'm just worried I don't drop this thing back here. Because that would not be fun on YouTube. But, you know, that's why we do these videos. So people learn from our mistakes. And I'm going to take my 36. I'm going to put the screw through the hole. I'm gonna stick this back on. Just kind of line it up. When you get this thing in there, you're gonna feel it line up. All right, so when you finger tighten that thing in there, you just kind of rock it back and forth and you just want to thread that first one by hand. Um, and just, again, don't drop that bolt. Um, and then once you get this thing tightened up really well, um, kind of stop the video while I was tightening it. Um, you can go ahead and reattach this clip. And then what we're gonna do Let's take this guy and you see the orientation you want that to have as much contact with metal as possible so they call for going two holes up so from the hinge this is your hood hinge one two so this hole you slide this thing in I don't know if you can see this Just should slide right in there. I'd have to loosen it a little bit, give it a little bit more room. And then you kind of gently pull down, but you want the orientation of that to have as much contact with metal as possible. So you've got that up high towards the hood emblem, if you will. And this is where that deep 13 millimeter socket comes in play. And you just gotta remember that this is gonna be too long for the short one. So you got a 13 millimeter, you just kinda get that on there, tighten it up. Just make sure you don't over tighten or else you're gonna pull it right out. You can go back and this one, I'm gonna, just gonna give this one a little bit more torque. Okay. Now, let's see if we can't get one of these guys on there. All right, here we go. Let's get this gas strut up. And again, you can see inside there's those little C clips that you could damage. Um, 
or just not to jam these things on, but it would probably look like I'm jamming them on, but I'm gonna try wiggling it back and forth just to set it in place, but I'm just gonna start rocking it. Pretty, pretty easy. Now, to compress this thing, um, might have to lift up on your hood a little bit here. So, using the old noggin, let's take this OEM down, put this thing on. And wow, there we go, there's one side. Um, immediately what I noticed is the, the hood will actually open, hood actually opens up higher now, which is awesome. So again, the orientation matters. Let's just get this thing on here. I already did the passenger side and just wiggle this thing on like that. Get this thing on too. Wiggle it. And okay. So let me move my tools. You gotta remember to move your tools. Put this thing away because it's probably not gonna get used ever again. And oh, they're quiet. And they're slow opening. Oh yeah. Oh, that is sweet. All right, another awesome product from Redline Tuning, Ann Arbor, Michigan, $100. Highly suggest buying this. Um, again, Redline Tuning, Ann Arbor, Michigan, American company. And uh, here's their website. Might have actually, actually put their little sticker on something my Bronco because I like this product so much um, yeah again that was a quick video I think this took me again I'm not left-handed but 15 minutes do you think that video editing is gonna take longer than actually doing this project all right thanks guys and girls enjoy your May Day